At least 68 people have died after a passenger plane crashed while trying to land in Nepal. The plane was on a 27-minute flight from the capital Kathmandu to the popular tourist city of Pokhara, with 72 people on board. The search for four missing people has just resumed. Kethiki Masalamni reports. Just moments before it crashed, an aircraft was filmed flying erratically over the city of Pokhara before turning sharply on its side. I told my friend that the plane was falling to the ground. We heard the sound of a blast. Flames and black plumes of smoke mark the crash site from afar. Up close, emergency responders face a mammoth task. The plane had avoided populated spaces and crashed into a gorge. The Yeti Airlines plane was carrying passengers mostly from Nepal, but also from India, Russia, South Korea, Australia, Argentina, France and Ireland. And despite hundreds of rescuers searching into the night, four of the 72 people on board are still missing. The incident was tragic. The full force of the Nepali army and police has been deployed for rescue. From the lip of the gorge, they winched out bodies and then remains. The grandson of Sir Edmund Hillary, whose grandmother and aunt died in a plane crash in Nepal in 1975, says families of the victims will be facing unimaginable grief. My hearts go out to them. It's an immensely difficult thing to, to reckon with. The cause of the crash is unknown, but the treacherous conditions of landing in Nepal are well documented. So the weather is a huge factor. You pass through huge mountain ranges that are on a scale, you know, that we just don't have anywhere else in the world. Um, these are mountains that you can't just pull up and avoid. In recent years, a number of flights have crashed. In May last year, a plane carrying 22 people went down during a flight from Pokhara to Johnson with no survivors. In 2016, all 23 people on board another flight making the same journey were killed. Nepalese are observing a day of mourning for victims of this latest crash. <laughs> The country's worst air disaster in three decades. Ketki Masalamani, News Hub.